Hot days like today will pretty soon be a little bit easier to bear as you no longer have to worry about getting fined if you take your mask off because you're feeling warm, you can't breathe. Now that's because today the health minister announced that government will officially be ending its mask mandate come July 17th. But this does not mean that we're totally done with masks. The new regulations that will come out will still have masking as a feature a mandatory feature at healthcare facilities. But apart from these settings, the rest will be up to the judgment of individuals. To guide this decision, the Alsing says the ministry will be putting out recommendations. The risk-based um, recommendations are going to be based on your vaccination status, your medical history, your age, your household. While the details of these recommendations are yet to be finalized and released next week, Dial Singh says they will advise that four vulnerable groups continue to wear masks. These are the unvaccinated, the immunocompromised, the elderly and the pregnant. He says it will also advise for masks to be worn in certain settings. These include geriatric homes, children's homes, any indoor congregation, public transport and religious services. So you've worn your mask in a taxi to get to school. What happens when you reach there? Well, according to the health minister, they're still evaluating what students have to do when it comes to wearing a mask. He says they're going to monitor the situation as the mandate has been dropped. And when school reopens in September, they will give a final determination on if students have to wear their masks. Rashad Khan, CNC3 News.